assalamu alaikum very important two marks question and answers in pharmaceutical organic chemistry one my dear brothers and sisters this is the structural based video okay and in this video see two marks many times the question framed from the write the structure and uses write the structure and uses write the chemical reaction and what is elimination substitution aldol cross aldol see these simple questions are asked in the two marks questions but the main majority question in the two marks is structure and functions from structure and functions you will get maximum means structure you will get five structures there out of 10 four to five you have to write the structures only on the basis of that they will give you marks let's start that uh, two marks a very important question and answers yes the first one is uh, two marks that is write the structure and IUPAC name of the acetone diethyl ether see you have to practice this structure see acetone IUPAC name is a propane to own see this first structure what you are observing no that is the structure of the acetone this one this one is the structure of acetone it is also known as a propane to own then the second one diethyl ether see ethoxy ethane ethane two carbon it oxy with oxygen ethane it oxy ethane remember this and practice you will get uh, succeed there then what is peroxide effect give example when propene is made to react with the hydrogen bromide in the presence of peroxide then negative part of the reagent that is bromide ion is attached to the ch2 carbon group of the double bond which contains the higher number of hydrogen atom and thus this result in the formation of n propyl bromide means peroxide if you see here just very simple means here what happens in the peroxide effect the hbr means the reagent go and attach to that group of the carbon carbon double bond which contain maximum number of hydrogen atom this is the peroxide effect then the next one is a uh, write a qualitative test for benzaldehyde and ether see this qualitative test you have to explain this i wrote here only the examples uh, means just a name i have given that is a uh, skiff's text and figgles text but you have to write this reaction then what is nucleophile with example nucleophile is a word that is used to refer substances that tend to donate electrons pairs to electrophiles in order to form chemical bonds with them see nucleophile it is a neutral species means they will donate the electrons for them for which uh, they will donate they will donate for the electrophile okay to form the reaction means to form the chemical bond that is chlorine bromine iodine these all are the nucleophiles next one define amines give reasons why amines are basic in nature why means uh, see amine is a type of compound that is a derived from ammonia or you can write uh, amine it is the derivative of the ammonia okay now the next uh, answer is give reason amines contains a lone pair of electrons on the nitrogen see always you are uh, observing two lone pair means one lone pair of electrons uh, on your uh, nitrogen two dots you are observing okay so why that two dots means they can easily share with the other atoms other molecules uh, to form the bond okay that is available for protonation this is the cause of the basic nature of the ammonia next uh, move towards the fifth question write the structure and uses of acetic acid and lactic acid see it is acetic acid is used in the manufacturing of uh, acetic anhydride and cellulose to manufacture this we are using the first structure is of acetic acid structure this one the second one is lactic acid lactic acid can be used to make everything from the cleaning products uh, like uh, wind um, windex uh, okay or food preservatives uh, lactic lactic acid and also lactic acid it is used in the uh, many chemical industries many chemicals uh, we are using the lactic acid one point you remember if you don't know anything means you write it is used in the pharmaceutical industries uh, it is used in the pharmaceutical preparation okay it is used in the uh, pharmacy pharmaceutical organic chemistry a uh, lab just you write this one if you don't know anything the uses you if you know means uh, it's better you write but you don't know the uses i'm not getting clear idea about the uses means you just write this one it is used in a pharmaceutical preparation it is used in the many creams and ointments this is the common uh, step you have to refer that next one is a uh, sixth question uh, 
सॉरी हाँ यस सिक्स वन डिफाइन मेटामर्स विथ एग्जाम्पल सी मेटामर्स आर द आइसोमर्स हैविंग द सेम मोलिकुलर फॉर्मूला बट डिफरेंट अल्कोहल ग्रुप्स ऑन टू साइड्स ऑफ द फंक्शनल ग्रुप सी दे आर हैविंग सेम मोलिकुलर फॉर्मूला बट हियर अटैचमेंट ऑफ द अल्काइल ग्रुप टू द फंक्शनल ग्रुप मीन्स इज डिफरेंट एग्जाम्पल सी दिस इज डाइथल इथर एंड मिथाइल प्रोपाइल इथर हैविंग सेम मोलिकुलर फॉर्मूला बट अटैचमेंट ऑफ द अल्काइल ग्रुप टू द फंक्शनल ग्रुप इज डिफरेंट इयर सी Here only one carbon is attached. Here two carbon is attached. Here three carbon. Here two carbon. This type of the different attachment of the uh, alky alkyl groups to the functional group it is known as the metamers. Then uses of paraffin. Paraffin it is commonly used as a fuel for jet engines, then uh, rockets as well as a fuel uh, component for diesel and uh, tractor engines. Also paraffin. If we talk in the pharmacy means. Uh, So this paraffin it is used to relieve the constipation. Okay, to easily pass the bowel movement, to easily remove the waste products, we are using this paraffin. Then what are living groups? I give example. Living groups is an atom that is a displaced as a stable species, taking with it in the bonding electrons. typically the living group is an anion or a neutral molecule see here a living group that is displaced as an stable species okay stable species with the stable species it get displaced and uh, means taking with its bonding electron just living group means it lives in the name itself it is indicating it lives and form a bond next one what is inductive effect when a covalent bond is formed between atoms of different electronegative when a covalent bond is formed between atoms of different electronegativity then the electron density is more towards the more electronegative atoms of the bond this shift in electron density is called inductive effect means here what happens a different electronegativity covalent bond will form the atoms of different electronegativity the electron density is more where the electronegativity atoms are there atoms uh, bondings are there so this uh, uh, bonding is known as inductive effect and what is ozonolysis when an alkene reacts with ozone in the inert uh, solvent then an explosive or unstable ozonide is formed explain the stability of alkene with example the more substituents the alkenes have the more stable they are because of hyperconjugation this is the stability of alkene this question also asked for 5 marks in many times see some questions those are asked in 5 marks and 10 marks like aldol condensation perkin condensation then kenny's arrow benzoin these i have not discussed here only those questions which are not asked in 5 to 10 marks these those questions have discussed here but one or two will be repeated yes stability of alkene means because they have if the substituents of alkenes having means the more substituents of the alkenes the more stable the compounds next write the structure and uses of succinic acid and oxalic acid this is a succinic acid means used in food chemical and pharmaceutical industries this one is oxalic acid means removing rust and stains on an object and metals we are using this one then write the iupac name of the methyl formate and isopropyl alcohol this is the structure of the methyl formate this one methyl formate then uh, this one is the structure of the uh, isopropyl alcohol which is there no then methyl formate is a colorless liquid pleasant to odor it is used as an insecticide and manufacturing various organic chemicals iupac name is methyl methanoate here propane to all the iupac name of this uh, isopropyl alcohol is propane to all next give the structure and uses of iodoform and chloroform this one is iodoform three id iodines are uh, attached to the carbon then uh, it is an antiseptic component of medicines for minor skin uh, diseases like uh, powidine iodine what you are using no this is iodoform then uh, chloroform it is a solvent uh, that helps uh, other substances to dissolve to dissolving the other substances we are using the chloroform then write the structure and uses of amphetamine and chlorobutanol amphetamine see amphetamine this one first structure is amphetamine it is used to treat the heart problems such as obesity necrolepsy necrolepsy necro necrolepsy or attention deficit hyperactivity disorder okay then here chlorambutanol chlorambutanol see it is a common detergent preservative in eye drops and other ophthalmic therapeutic formulations this is the uses of the chlorambutanol 
now if we discuss about the 16th question that is write the structure and uses of the ethanolamine and the trichloroethylene see ethanolamine is a scrubber to remove carbon dioxide hydrogen sulfide and other acidic pollutants from waste gas streams then a triethanol a tri trichloroethylene is primarily used to make refrigerants and other uh, hydrofluorocarbons and as a decreasing solvent for metal liquid we are using this one next 17 structure and iup synonym of ethyl methyl ketone and diethyl ether ethyl methyl ketone see this is the structure this this one is the iup synonym ethyl methyl so ho ho sorry i forgot to write here iup synonym but i have given here the uses diethyl ether yes then write the structure and uses of isopropyl alcohol ethyl acetoacetate so isopropyl alcohol already have given you there then here this one the next one is ethyl acetoacetate acetoacetate it ethyl 3 oxobutanoate this one this one is the structure 19 question write the structure and uses of citric acid and the paraldehyde see this citric acid is predominantly used as flavoring agent and preserving agent especially in soft drinks and candies we are using this citric acid what you are drinking you know today the the soft drinks candies the all consists of this citric acid next one is a paraldehyde is a used to treat the certain convulsive disorders Conval para like uh, brain disorder especially next one is a uh, write the structure and uses of tartaric acid and salicylic acid tartaric acid is often used in uh, acidulant in grape and lime flavored beverages so, gelatin desserts jams jellies in many we are using tartaric if you discuss about salicylic acid means in many ointments we are using cream oil, cream we are using uh, it act as an anti fungal agent okay then uh, what are elimination substitution see a reaction with the reactant is broken down into one or more product that is known as elimination alcohol dehydrogenation and ethane cracking are the example of elimination a substitution is one where the reactants are transferred around to form a final product okay major and minor products are what, what you are absorbing no that is next one is a uh, uh, defined set of rule set of rule mainly this question was framed for the five marks here we have to write the mechanism also so better practice that sets of rule there are halo alkanes that can undergo elimination in two different ways resulting in two different products okay here alkenes with less number of hydrogen on the double bonded carbon atom are the preferred product the alkenes way of the double bond means the alkenes that should have less number of hydrogen atom with the double bonded carbon atom so those products are preferred ones Next one is water is Marconi rule, just opposite to this anti Marconi rule. See, when an unsymmetry reagent is added to the unsymmetry alkene, then a negative part of the reagent is attached to the unsaturated carbon atom to the lesser number of hydrogen atoms. Here, lesser number, there, greater number of hydrogen atoms. See, only this one is the difference. Yes, my dear brothers and sisters, these are the 23 very, very important question in our examination. One more is there. Uh, sorry one more is there just i will show you yes this one see this question that you, what is a cross kinesero uh, reaction if an aldehyde without any alpha hydrogen is made to react with formaldehyde in the presence of the base to give sodium formate and an alcohol it is known as cross kinesero reaction then what is cross aldol means cross aldol is a variation of the aldol condensation in which two dissimilar carbonyl compounds each containing alpha hydrogen undergo the condensation reaction together in such reaction to four different products may be formed here see four different products are formed here just a simple you remember when two different carbonyl compounds reacted okay that contains alpha hydrogen that undergo condensation reaction together and they will form the four different products are formed four different aldol products are formed cross aldol products are formed yes, these are the 24 questions in our two marks with answers practice only this definitely you will 
गेट गुड मार्क्स थैंक यू असलकुम